take the script, you know what I mean? Good morning, welcome to Welfare vs. Scale. Today we're here at the community center and we brought Jason Bird along with his sister, Ben Rose. And, um, what are we going to do today, y'all? We're going to work everything. I'm going to work my legs, but I think Pam and Jason will work everything else, so. <laughs> I guess we're going to walk first and then get on the leg machine arm machine and that's about it. And Pam, why don't you uh, say hello to people you ain't seen them in forever. Hello, number forever. two whale back. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll call back at you here in a bit. Jason, how do you feel after climbing them steps? That was a walk right there, wasn't it? That was a warm up. Dang, what horrible. Yeah, right. That goes with it, don't it, today? And like, the day we work our arms, we can do the basketball. Because we got this workout we've been doing with the basketball. Alright, so y'all ready to walk it and get it? You need to get your job. Yeah, I know. I can't believe you fell like a daggum. <laughs> why are you looking at me all crazy and psycho? Cause you tell him why, Jason? Tell him why? Cause you... That's right! <laughs> Tell them thank you. <laughs> Do it again. Are you stretching? All right, now stretch. Come on. No one's rough the legs on that. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, Pam. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> but I ain't going to do it, though. Yeah, No, I ain't going to do it. Because my legs are too short. Your legs ain't longer than that time. Bye, George. She's just the time. The time that I lock out. Huh? The time that I lock not having long legs. So, Jason, what have you been up to? How do you like your new job? I love it. Huh? You can do it right there. No, it's okay. Oh, you chicken? Yeah, you bet that I am. So, busy where you work at now? Good. Well. Alrighty. All right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get Jason and Pam on the leg machines today. And uh, then I guess we'll get my myself and I. And Wait a minute, what are you doing? Alright. Oh, snap, I forgot one leg. Yeah. No, it, it's fun. I mean, it's relaxing, that thing over there is. How are you doing, Pam? I'm sweating. Yeah. Me too. I guess what we'll do is we'll uh, take turns. That'll work. That way we can get everybody. What's the what? What do you got the weights on? No, not that one, Jason. The other one. It's the next one. <laughs> yeah. <you go. laughs> work it, honey. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Good. Alright, come on. Come on, some more. Let's do 40. Have you lost your mind? I know you're about to say that, aren't you? All right. If we're going to do that, man, I'm going to take it off each pound then. Well, whatever. 
I'm gonna do that back, that back thing, these legs, and then that's gonna be it for me as far as work doing weight training or strength training. Do you know how many you've done so far? You don't gotta do 40. Just do as many as you can. My legs are already sore from the stairs, so we gotta really start like getting into this. Because now that everybody's got to... need to be into it like we was when we first started Yeah. Here. And we got to start what we to eat. Once a week, can we have like good, like something that we consider good. It's not good for us, but it's considered good. Like Chinese or Mexican food. When we food. do go to Chinese, we need to lay off the noodles and the rice. Get mostly meat. Meat and a vegetable. I don't think they're vegetables. Um, one time I did, I did it a long time ago I did, but they're, they're tasty. They got it fixed where it goes out. Well, I like it like that. All right. Dang. All right, one. Oh, wait a minute, that's a little too much for me. One. Two, three. What's wrong with me? I used to do a hundred, hundred and something pounds. Been a while. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My legs aren't that strong either. Thirteen. But that's the whole point though, right? Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Now let's do both. One. Two. Three. Oh, God, that's Five. Six. What? That's 110 pounds, though. Eight. Oh, nine. Ten. Oh. Yeah, you're ten. You only did, you're doing ten weights. No, I did both. I did one, one, and two. Oh. So. So, how are you feeling? Hot and sweaty. Tired. Oh, yeah. Wish I could sweat that fast. I really do. You don't yeah, I know I could then. <laughs> Can you help me film you? Yeah, I'll be fine. I might say. How you feeling, Jim? Pretty good. Oh, mm. it's so good when we can you're supposed to do two. Yeah, but can't even move with one. Oh, yeah, that'll work. This is impeccable. One. <coughs> Three. <coughs> Four. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 
Thanks, Bo. Jason, how many have you done? None. Huh? Well, you say? He's just sitting there. He's lost count. He's just sitting there. Six. Cheater. Three, seven. I set the pot calling the kettle black. Oh, I need to do so, huh? Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. You ain't gonna get on me right away. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Savannah got the air on today. It feels good in here. Uh-uh. It don't feel good to me. It, that's why we're sweating like crazy. I'm sweating, too. And I put deodorant and everything on, and I'm starting to stink. Hey, you know what? I know this is bad, and it's really, I mean, it sounds disgusting, but I am not I can't put the other on, but I don't need to work out. Why? Because I want to sweat. Oh. Uh. Yeah. And then, but you know, because you come to a gym, you want to be around sweaty people to be there. You know, they don't have to, I don't come here to meet nobody. I don't want to, you know, I come here to lose weight. So piss on them stuff is you know, they think who? So. Oh, you got, you, Jason. All right. So, uh, right now we're, I think we're going to take a break with the camera. Or no, I think i get, I get this right here. And then we can take a break with the camera. Gosh, it smells so good in here. It smells like fabuloso. Jason, you hear me out right here? Huh? Let's see if I need to. Wait, here you go. Okay. Wait, here you go. She didn't got this girl on her. 10 pounds. Four. She ain't trying to do this. It's around, isn't it? This? This is still on that side. When? Like a long, long, long time ago. Not the other day. I don't need the yeah, dude. That woman. Two, three. Okay. So the loose weight they they leave it on the lower weight and more reps. Yeah. That's what I well I would that's what I'm trying to do so I can but thing is I'm about to shut this to the wall, look. I know. I did too. Real. Well, I mean, look, Real. if it's too light, then you can add more weight to it. Yeah. That, maybe, you're, maybe you should move up some. Huh? Downstairs. Hey, do you have to family bathroom tell her look for your phone? Hey, Christy. I looked in the bathroom. All right. Oh, thank you so much. So how are you doing today, honey? Good, you already. Already? All righty, so how are you feeling now, Jason? Good. Big. How do you feel? Good. I wish I could, you know what? I wish I could ride a real bicycle. I'd rather ride a bicycle um, outside than in here. But um, I ain't rode a bicycle since 1990. When my sister, my stepsister at the time, I finally, okay, look, I used to be scared of riding bicycles on a little rock. And then one day, my sister, I finally got the brave enough to ride a bicycle, and I loved it. And my stepsister at the time, we lived up this big old hill. She dared me to go down the hill in the bicycle, and I did. But hell, I didn't know where the brakes were. And I just kept going and going. I was scared to death. And I flew off <laughs> over and back at my handlebars. <laughs> I ain't rode a bicycle since. I was so scared. I shouldn't be scared of anything. But <coughs> But they make them bicycles so high. How are fat people supposed to get on them? Yeah, have you seen those little bicycles? Uh, 
Is this wide? I'm a, and it's made out of gel. Is it? Yes. Hey, I want to get They're $19 for the seat. Out, out, out. I have a They need to make vintage. Box like that. Uh, Outside box like that. It's not a Huffy. What's the other one? The original. I can't remember that. I wish they made box like that with the daggum ransom. <laughs> Hey, they, they used to have them, but they still do. Oh, really? And they got three wheeler ones too. If they had them that that low, or awesome they can. Ones, it really. looks like the uh, big wheels, like you used to use in the car when you were kid. Yeah. They got them that size. Of course, I need uh, training wheels on mine. Start all over again. Maybe once you know how to ride a bike, you don't need it, honey. Shoot. You know what I like to find? It's a three wheel box. You can find them. That's what I want. Like a bicycle. Three wheel bicycle. Would you do that with Jason? What? A three wheel bicycle. That sounds like fun. <coughs> oh well. I think we're gonna finish it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Did you do a Guinness bicycle? Hell no. <laughs> I can barely do a bicycle. If I could find a kitty bicycle that I wouldn't break, it'd be alright. Honey. I ride bicycles. How small? How tall is it? I don't like tall bicycles. They adjust. You can adjust the seat. Oh yeah, I like mine small. Like and short. I got a road bike. See? The, the tires make me. I'm gonna come on for a three wheel bicycle. The tires make me about that wide. Really? But you know what? You hold my big fat butt up, and you know how much pressure, uh, air pressure it holds in it. A hundred pounds, and that's what my husband puts in his semi truck tires. Hey, you know what though? You can always get some John Deere parts, or get or make a. You can always make a daggum three wheel bicycle, maybe. You can. Make, my brother, he was selling one, but it had a motor on it, so. Oh, did it? Yeah. Get for daddy. But he was gonna sell it for hundred bucks. It got front here all of a sudden. You're green. Thanks. We're nice. The Charmaine. <laughs> I think we're country as I'll get out, don't you? Do you know what song? What? Oh, well, yeah, you watched the video. My nieces were saying to you, Grandpa. I had to sing Tell me about the good old days. Cheyenne got this out on her iPod. Right. It was like, you know, Yeah. And I got the thing with people. Uh huh. And I sung Crazy by Patsy Cline. Did you? Cheyenne flipped out. Did she really? Yeah, I like you better than Patsy Cline. I said, honey, don't even go there. What the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> What'd I do? You know what my, one of my favorite Judd songs is? What? Young love, I love the Judd. Why not me? And that uh, Why not me on a rainy day? <laughs> did you go vote? Who'd you, did you vote? Who'd you vote for for superintendent? I went to talk about religion, politics, and front. I'd have voted for okay, Robbie. Later. You're filming. It's okay. I'd have voted for Robbie. I went, went to school with Robbie, but there's no reason why. But did you vote for Superior Court? I vote for Judge Wilbank. He's the main reason why I vote. Voted why I'm gonna vote this year. He, he's got to he's got to do the runoff. You know I like him because he was very because he reminds me of a judge that's not really in it for the money. Or in it for the power. He's really true, true blood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it runs in his, like it well runs in his veins, and he's not really, he's not only for a power trip. He's there. You know what I mean? He's one of the nicest. I mean, I've been in front of him several times, and the last time I went to, uh, I probably am glad I didn't go in front of him because he, I was required to go to some kind of traffic court or something, traffic school, and I didn't go. And so, you know, he, but Jerry Marcus ended up being the last one I ended up 
going in front of. And um, he only sits me for a few days. But what I like about Wheelbanks is I don't. What I like about Wheelbanks is he's fair. Yeah. All right. I like about Wheelbanks because he's fair. Okay. And he's not the type of he might be the type of judge that will. Uh, that you just don't want to disappoint. Kind of block. Charles Hayes was when they were hitting the probation officer. No. He was just a probation officer he didn't want to make a disappoint. Because he, he, he encouraged you, but you effed up. Or he'll show you he effed up. Did you ever have McKamey? No, I never. Oh, my God. He was bad. Was he a lawyer? Mm-mm. He was probation. Oh, no, I didn't have McKamey. I had, uh... <coughs> uh... I got lucky. God, that was a. I think what my first time was probably all great. Uh, I got through it like it wasn't nothing. I know it was all in. What do you think about the ballot? About the. The what? Legalizing certain stuff. I'm like, all right. I don't know. But I do say, I do agree with not. I do believe that when it comes down to the Sunday ballot, Again this year, for the county field, I'm going to vote no. Yes, I work in the convenience store. Yes, we're probably increase our revenue in the convenience store. They want to increase our hours, and I think we're great. You know, because they well, increase nothing. They increase your hours. They always tell you if you close sale and you have more sales, your hours increase a crock. Big old crock. Mm -hmm. Because they want that money in their pocket. <coughs> But yeah. I'm gonna vote no, and it, it, it really doesn't have. It has a lot to do with the fact. I mean, I, who knows where it does happen from? I can't believe it was on Saturday, but As the traditional Jewish, the the real Sabbath is from sundown sa uh, Friday to sundown Saturday. Okay. That's yeah, the real that's Sabbath. I, that's what I believe. Okay, but I know. But see, on Saturday though. On the Saturday, you're not supposed to do nothing. You ain't supposed to work or nothing. You ain't supposed to work. You ain't supposed to do nothing. So Sunday, so Saturday, they're all up in church. Well, you're supposed to be working, honey. That was the whole purpose of the Sabbath. So Sunday, I mean, go Sunday and worship, you know. Make Sabbath, make Saturday the Sabbath, Sunday the day and worship. Oh, my God, no. Anyway, so, but, however, it's more... For me, it's more of a real effect thing. Well, and another thing about the marijuana that they, you know, I read the article about, you know, they was Whitfield County was going to try to legalize it for uh, less than an ounce, and then for people over 21 years of age yeah. and older, that's for recreational use. That's not medicinal use. And I, I think that less than one ounce shouldn't carry. Oh, well, it's a misdemeanor now, but they're going to legalize it. You can't have more than an ounce, and you probably can't grow it yourself. They'll probably open up stores. I think pot has a lot of great... If you use it for medicinal reasons and not recreational. Right. If you... Because how much of tobacco... They ain't nothing good about tobacco. Well, yeah. What? Tobacco's good for uh, bee stings. Bee stings. Spotify, hey, that's a, that's a normal thing, though. But the next thing about it is. It ain't got no smoking in it, though. Tobacco. She's leaving. She's leaving out of here. You're sister. Yeah, but she's leaving. Yeah, 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 she
tequila and all that stuff are good. Anything good, good for moderation. Yeah, anything is good in moderation, exactly. But candy bars are bad for you, but if you yeah. have diabetes, you eat one. Hey, it's like the best thing in the world. So, if your sugar's low. Yeah, if it's low. So I think that, yes, they can. I think they can. Are you done with these? Yeah, I'm done. So I think that maybe they can legalize it in the two, but I just, um, does it matter? I don't use it for, I won't, I won't use it because I like it too much. Yeah. And I ain't got nothing, I mean, I no, think nothing wrong with me to be smoking marijuana. I don't think it was meant to. I don't no. think it was meant to. Really? It makes me paranoid, but. But I might eat three cans of Pringles and eight cans of iron and sausages or something. They might not, um... And puke my guts out. Maybe marijuana's not meant to be smoked, though. Huh? Maybe marijuana's not meant to be smoked, either. I don't it's know. It messes with you. Yankees, brownies, and stuff. Well, never mind. That have still makes stuff. <laughs> Crawl on the wall. Well, the smoking is what causes the problem. Forgive us that are usually tuning in for regular whales versus scales. We're having drug talk. And the political discussion. <laughs> so I think that I think that the big thing is Yeah. This little girl. Did they make it into tablets or something? Get around here. Here. Look, Mary Jane's good for for anxiety, anorexia, depression, Crohn's disease. Mm hmm. Oh, heck yeah. It's too much information. Well, and it's going on YouTube. <laughs> but, um, all right, well. But, yeah, I'm just not going to vote yes for uh, for Sunday alcohol sales because it's out of respect. <coughs> it's not really. We got it any time. Yeah, but it's more of a respect thing for me. It's like, it's been like this forever. They can have, I mean, the church folks can, should be able to have one day. But, and if they want it that bad, they can go to Tennessee. But they don't have to they can go to Dalton now. So, for the county, I am going to vote now. I don't oh, care. Dalton gets it too? Dalton. Dalton. I know what Eton does. Dalton, Ringo, Eton, uh, Ron Allen, and Cahutta. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, county. Come here, voted it down, and then the county, rest of the county said no. But that, I'm going to say no too because it's just more of a respect thing rather than just a religious thing too. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and condemn anybody for drinking. So. Of course, sometimes I do think, well, if they're going to sell beer, on, if they're not going to sell beer on Sunday, they should sell lottery, cigarettes, lots stuff. But they do. But I'm still going to vote no, because it's always been like that. I'm a conservative. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care about money and everything. You know what I mean? It helps, but it's not like we're going to see any of it anyway. You know, see, it does show you two conservatives can get along with a liberal. Right. Major tolerance is called tolerance, right. Tolerance. That's all you got to have. Yeah, like abortion. I know. I saw your argument with abortion. I don't believe in it can, at all, for no circum, under no circumstances, nothing. Well, that's a brutal race. Uh, but still, that's what a morning accident is. that you not know, just Anyway, so we have, uh, see, the tolerance, it's tolerance. Tolerance, that's all we ask, it's tolerance. But I don't see why people agree People think that the con well, people think that the pro lifers are trying to control people's choices. That's not it. The thing is, it's about responsibility, it's protecting, protecting life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like I, you know I read what? an article, you know, if you get a pregnant woman exactly. and she's pregnant and that baby dies, you got a murder charge. Right. Well, if they if both the, die, if they they both die two murder yeah. charges. Mm -hmm. And that doctor that aborts the baby don't get nothing. He gets prayed. And I don't think that I personally, well, I don't know, because I wouldn't be saying it if they were 
for late term abortion. But I'm talking about these states. The, uh, these people suing, if the state wants to say, hey, look, you can't get an abortion if the baby is six weeks old and you're, I mean, if you're six weeks pregnant. They, it's not, I don't, I don't understand where, where it's them, uh, where it's not constitutional. Yeah. I, I, they say it's unconstitutional. But why can't they just have a baby? Give it up. Give it to the Oh, but it, it messes up their insides and it messes up their body. Well, you should have thought about that first. It doesn't make it, girl. Mm-hmm. And I think if a man hurts a woman and she gets pregnant, he should pay. Um, well, he'd be in prison forever, but. Did you want that video? That he should always have to pay for it. Video of her abortion. She was a uh, counselor in an abortion clinic and it videoed. I mean, they just kept it on her face. While she was getting the abortion, but they done it a month later, and she's talking about, I was, I'm happy with my choice. But if you had a pretty on mute, you saying the lot went before she had her abortion, she had just a glow about her. She's happy afterwards. There was no lot in her eyes. She was just grieving. I mean, she was grieving. I think. Do you really want to know? I think. I think the daddy should have a say so. I, if unless you know, unless he wants the woman to get an abortion and she doesn't, um, I think that the daddy should. If, I think it should be an agreement there. Yeah, I do. Unless now, like if I had a husband, if I had a boyfriend and I got pregnant, too, and right? And he has to pay child support, no right. matter if he's the group of the lot. So if uh, this is why, I, if I get pregnant and, and somebody tell me they wanted a. a the, the guy told me I, he wanted me to get an abortion. No, I, I don't agree, so I wouldn't do it. Okay, so he can terminate his rights if he don't, if he don't want to have it, because he's sitting there thinking, well, i got to pay child support, blah, blah. Okay, we'll just terminate your rights and be done with it. We'll find a daddy. Yeah. But if he wants the baby, now I want to get an abortion, he should be able to mm-hmm. say, hey, no. You terminate your rights. Right. That's what and I'm I'll talking about. baby when it comes out. Yeah. Oh, I love this discussion. It's pretty cozy. Yeah. So now you start to get to know us pretty well. See, tolerance is what we ask. That's what we ask for. I mean, I agree with you on abortion. Yeah. Probably. Oh well. So we got a few more things ready. Ready to do what? We got to do more. Huh? I can't stay on camera. <laughs> oh, you got to. Well, we'll holler back at you later because it got so quiet here. Yeah.